G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Hey, it's great to have you back here at the uh, podcast. Look, we call it a podcast, it's more of a vlog, but I just hate the word vlog. Regardless of what you call it, I recommend that you click subscribe down here and press the little bell, and every time we have new content here on the YouTube channel, you'll get a little bing to say that uh, we're ready to roll. Look, we are in, uh, we are knee deep, you are waist deep, into our four video series on best practices or four golden rules for putting together your ice cream equipment. Um, first golden rule was make sure that your gasket or your rear seal is well uh, looked after and intact and on the dasher. Second one was no metal on metal. The third was cold water only. Today we're gonna to talk about the third, sorry, the fourth. Before I do so, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is iRice and Company. You probably can't come across a guy in the ice cream industry that knows as much about toppings, flavors, bases than Rod Oranger. Being in there in the industry since Adam was a boy, and he is probably one of the best resources that you have at iRice and Co. Uh, anything that you need to put into your ice cream base to make it the best flavor it can be, anything you need to put on top, fudges, toppings, the whole thing, iriceco.com, I-R-I-C-E-C-O.com. If you need to talk to someone, tell Rod that the ice cream bloke sent you. Now, the last golden rule of putting your ice cream machine together, and this really only applies to batch freezers. And when I tell you what it is, you're going to think that it's the most simple thing. Um, but, and you'll probably even be thinking, why do we spend a whole video on it? But it's something that happens in ice cream shops nearly every day all around this great big brown land of ours. And that is ensuring that your front gate is closed before you put your mix in. I can't tell you how many times that I have done this in the probably thousands of batches of ice cream that I have made, both in a batch freezer and in a frozen custard machine. You can kind of do the same thing. On a soft serve machine, a lot of your handles or, or uh, spigots are actually spring loaded. So if you pull them down, you can't leave them down. They'll just kind of pop back up and seal tightly. But on a batch freezer, you can actually open your extraction chute and lock it into place, particularly as at the end of the last video, when we put our sanitizer mix in here, we ran it out the bottom and I left the uh, extraction chute door open. So what ends up happening is you come along with your mix, you pour your mix into the spout of the uh, batch freezer and next thing you've got ice cream mix going all over the floor and it's an absolute nightmare. The higher the fat, the longer it's gonna take you to clean up. So it's a simple thing, but just make sure that that door is closed. It must be closed. Your front door or your main door is closed and your um, extraction chute door is closed, whatever your manufacturer calls it. Simple thing, but it needs to be done, otherwise you'll be spending 45 minutes cleaning up your mix. So we are right then to uh, pour again. I generally put a little bit of mix in first, just to make sure that our seal on our extraction door is not leaking. Um, also to make sure that the front door seal isn't leaking. When we don't have any leaks, we're right to put the whole lot in. And in this case, we are making a beautiful vanilla ice cream. Just look at that goodness go in. Oh. And then we are ready to uh, start the freezing process. So again, going back over this four video series, we want to group them together. Rule number one, make sure your gasket is good, intact, and on the back of your dasher. Rule number two, no metal on metal. Rule number three, cold water only. Rule number four, make sure the front door is closed before you put your mix in. And that just about wraps it up, folks. Look, if you have any quandaries, concerns, problems uh, that you would like us to tackle here at the Scoop School Labs, Scoop School facility here in St. Louis, drop us a line. Uh, you can tweet us, you can email us, you can Facebook us. Just look for Scoop School on all the socials. Again, thank you to Rod Oranger and all of the crew there at iRice for their sponsorship. Keep on scooping, folks, and we'll see you in the next video.